Hey, what's up guys, Shiv here. I wanted to make a quick little video to um, address one of the most important things that I'm realizing in, for roofing businesses that a lot of businesses are dropping the ball on, okay? This has nothing to do with SEO, nothing to do with marketing or even lead generation. It's actually to do with how you answer the phone calls. So I contact a lot of roofers, right? And what I'm realizing is that this is a bigger problem than I thought. I thought it is only a thing that you'd find from here and there for certain businesses that are starting out. But what I'm seeing is that even for large businesses that have five, six, seven trucks, this part can be a crucial pain point, right? And the worst thing about this is that they don't even know it. So let me explain what I believe, first of all, to a little background in my understanding of how, why this happens. When a roofing business is started, uh, it starts usually with one man, right? One man with maybe one employee or something like that, or maybe two partners, whatever, right? But the main guys who do the roofs are answering the phones, right? It gets a little bigger. Uh, people get employees, people hire people uh, on, on part-time basis, whatever it is, they still answer the phone. Medium-sized business, a lot of times the business owner still answer the phone. Great. Any The best person to answer the phone is the business owner, right? Because no matter what kind of scenario that would come in place, he is equipped for um, you know answering that call, right? But then once it grows a bit more, you hire your representative, right? You hire, I mean, a re receptionist. And this is where the ball is dropped because you think that a receptionist is trained to answer roofing calls when in reality, a receptionist is not even trained to answer calls properly, meaning they probably have never been in a scenario where they were based by performance, it's just more of an hourly thing. Just pick up the phone and say hello, right? So just imagine, okay, what leads to this device right here? All the marketing you're doing, whether it be spending thousands of dollars in SEO, flyers, everything else, all the stuff you do, right? Somehow, some way, you are trying to divert that funnel into this thing called a phone, right? A lot of it, you know, I, I guess some of us are using like forms on our website and all that stuff, but still a majority of the business, probably for most businesses, over 80% is going to come, is going to start by the phone ringing. And if the person who picks that up is not, not only not professional, but does not know how to ask for the sale, they might be professional. They might be sounding wonderful and really nice, but if the homeowner says something, maybe they don't want to answer it. If they ask a question that's about roofing a bit more uh, specific, than just do you guys do roofing? They might not know how to answer it. They might just say, ah, okay, we're gonna call you back or I'm not sure. Right off the bat, not giving a professional tone to the business, right? They don't know your business. They don't know you. They know for, for right now, they know you as a listing and then they know you from the voice they hear. And they'll remember that voice a lot more because it's much more real than the listing itself, right? All I'm trying to point out is that this is where the rubber meets the road, right? All your effort is going to come down to this part of who answers the phone. And once you are replacing yourself with your receptionist, if they're not trained to do this properly, you're going to lose business. You're going to lose business. You're going to drop the ball. You're going to, um, a lot of times, probably even not lose business that you, you didn't even know got lost, right? Homeowners call. Maybe they don't pick up. I mean, that's another problem, right? If they don't pick up promptly. Um, you know, a lot of things goes into place, the basic stuff. Pick up promptly, answer professionally, um, you know, like know a little bit about the roofing uh, industry enough to be able to guide them exactly how long it's going to take, when they're going to be called back or something like that, or set the appointment right then and there. And lastly, ask for the sale, okay? Blows my mind. No receptionist does this. I mean, in the whole time I contact business, I think I came across a handful of receptionists who asked me, okay, um, can, would you like me to schedule you in? Or would you like to blah, blah, blah? Would you like me to uh, put your, take your information down so we can call you like shortly? If they don't see a clear direction of me asking them, they wouldn't ask it. Last point in this is calling back. If somebody rings the phone and it's like one or two rings and then they just stop ringing, no, receptionists don't call back. Business owners do. Your receptionist need to, needs to be at that level, right? If if your phone rings and they are not, um, you know, and then they, they don't continue ringing or nobody else answers, they need to call back right then and there. Hi, introduce your company. My name is 
whatever the receptionist name is, um, can I help you? We just got a call from you. Boom, that's it. They need to be doing this because every lead counts, okay? So don't drop the ball here. You have spent a lot of money for this thing to ring and